of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you. Well, good morning and happy Thanksgiving to everybody. We're really glad you were able to come. I, I think probably lots of other people would like to have come, but the time doesn't work or the, the oven does work. or You know how it is. <laughs> anyway, we, we kind of represent everybody who's part of our, our shrine community, everybody in our families. So let's begin calling on the mercy and love of God that has been with us this whole year and all our lives. Lord Jesus, you show us hope and thanksgiving. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are slow to anger and quick to forgive. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are worthy of all gratitude and praise. Lord, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Father, all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless, and your goodness is infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child so that we may share your gifts in loving service. And we ask that through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And so let us be seated as we listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May God grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians, brothers and sisters. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Elizabeth cried out in a loud voice to Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But who am I that 
the mother of my Lord should come to me. The moment your greeting sounded in my ears, the baby stirred in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who trusted that the Lord's words to her would be fulfilled. And then Mary said, My being proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit finds joy in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his servant in her lowliness. All ages to come shall call me blessed. God, who is mighty, has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm. He has confused the proud in their inmost thoughts. He has deposed the mighty from their thrones and raised the lowly to high places. The hungry he has given every good thing, while the rich he has sent empty away. He has upheld Israel, his servant, ever mindful of his mercy, even as he promised our fathers, promised Abraham and his descendants forever. And Mary remained with Elizabeth for about three months and then returned home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. It's really great to see you guys. It's been so long. <laughs> well, Thanksgiving Day. I really am glad you were able to come. I know it's not easy. And, I, you know, I was thinking, for most of us, if you have a little bit of time to, to reflect on Thanksgiving, you know, you might come back with some of the pilgrims and the people up in Plymouth and people in a new world celebrating a year of still being alive thanks to the help of the people who lived in that world for centuries. If you are a meal planner and organizing a great big dinner, today is sort of like D-Day. Father Don could rival General Eisenhower. I got to tell you, since Monday, we have lists, we have timetables, we got, it's, it's very impressive. It's very impressive. It's a staging like D-Day. Or if you're into wonderful Macy's Parade, they're going to do it again this year, and I think it could be fun to watch and, to, and all of that. Football, you got it, you know, all of that. Thanksgiving Day, all of that. I always remember about 11 years ago, this week I had open heart surgery down in Waterbury Hospital, and... Um, it was like Tuesday, I guess. And so um, the, the day after Thanksgiving, Friday morning, one of the nurse's aides was there, and I'm lying in my bed, and she gave a minute-by-minute minute account of how she had shopped all night long. I swear, I'm not making this up. Every store, what she bought, and I lay there, and I said, this is amazing. I just can't believe it. But it was, oh, she was so happy, and she got good bargains. Well, okay, good, great. You know, parades and turkeys, and the best thing probably, obviously, is if you can bring people together who are dear to you. But what I would just like to call to our attention is, is that for a Christian, it's not just one day that there has to be gratitude in our hearts and in our minds. It's something that, like Mary, my being, my very deepest heart self proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit finds joy in God, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, that my whole life is a gift, mine and the lives of those around me, and as long as we're together and as long as we have it on this earth, what a gift. And then we have it forever and ever and ever in heaven. But it's, it's this incredible sense that, that everything is gift. And that this God 
has done great things for me. His mercy is from age to age. Age to age in my life, the moment of my conception to the moment of my last breath. Age to age in the, in the lives of people who desperately need his mercy, his forgiveness, his justice, his peace. It's a huge thing. It's, it's just not one day. And I hope that each of us can find a few minutes every day to just say, what, what have I got to be grateful for today? And maybe even if we can't think of it, then go back a few days or a few years or just trust in faith that you have a lot to be faithful for. But a little bit every day you have to celebrate Thanksgiving. Every day. I always loved the phrase that the, the great Secretary General of the United Nations years ago, this Dag Hammarskjöld, said, for all that has been thanks, for all that shall be, yes. What a deep spirituality that is. It's what the mystics, if you read some of the mystics, that's what they will say too. For all that has been, as hard and terrible and lousy as it was, thanks, God. And for all that shall be, as good, as bad, as terrible, as lousy, as confusing, to my eyes, yes. That's probably what Mary would have said if she was looking for a few short words. For all that has been thanks, for all that shall be, yes. So shall we pray? Let us pray for God's holy church that in word and deed we may never cease to praise the Lord of life and to offer hospitality and care for those in need. We pray to the Lord. For nations rich in resources that they may find ways to share their abundance with countries suffering from natural disasters and economic hardship. We pray to the Lord. For all those who are far this holiday from families and friends, or who are grieving the loss of a loved one. Ellie just mentioned someone she saw in St. Anthony's Cemetery this morning, sitting in a chair by the grave of a loved one in this cold that they may know the love of a supportive community and friends. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, for you yourself if you're ill, for those who care for the sick each day. We pray for Sister Edna English, for Mary Jane, for Dave Kelly, and all those around the world suffering from the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Our Mass today is offered for David Lauer, for his good health and blessings in his life. And let us pray also for all gathered here, that we may embrace the practice of gratitude in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. And for a moment in quiet to pray for the people, the things closest to your hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. O oh God of every good gift, in your generosity you shower us with blessings. Hear our prayers that we might recognize your presence in everyone we meet. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God of all species. Would wash my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. And so, sisters and brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you and lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom a gift that calls us forth to responsibility and commitment to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. We give praise to you, Father, most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed us in your own image and entrusted the whole world to our care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, we might have dominion over all creatures. And even when through disobedience we had lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants, and through the prophets, you taught them to hope for salvation. And Father, you so loved the world that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him who died and rose again for us. 
He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Claim in song the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, unto. As we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice and especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. And remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. And there, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
God loves us from the moment we're born to the moment we die. One way to express thanks is to pray this prayer every day, as soon as you can learn it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And peace and happy Thanksgiving. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. to you for communion. We don't have to.
Our communion song is number 330, Seeds Scattered and Sown, number 330. Seeds scattered and sown Wheat gathered and grown Bread broken and shed as one The living bread of God Fine fruit of the land So may the church of God be gathered into one seed scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shed as one, the living bread of God. Let us pray. In this celebration, O oh God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. 
Help us, we pray, to reach out and love to all your people so that we will share with them the good things of time and of eternity. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody. This was really good. I mean, I wish we could have 100 more, but we can't, and you were meant to be. So go home and share the love of God with all the rest of you, your dear ones. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And our celebration for here is ended. Let us go in peace. Amen. Thanks be to God. Okay. Our recessional song today is number 611, For the Beauty of the Earth, number 611.